Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Feeling good, feeling alright, first run of the day. Uh, I can't remember if we ran him last time, just don't give me the lost. Oh, it's spinning pretty quick, where it stops, nobody knows. Samson, close to an Azazel run, but I'll take it either way. Let's see what we got in here. BBF, can be good, can kill us, but I'll try to do my best. N2BX3, easy peasy. It should have a Z on the end, or a Z, if you're from the colonies. Former colonies, well, still colonies, like, it doesn't matter. I really wish that, uh, well, sometimes, convenient, when it's convenient for me, I wish that BBF, when it collided with objects, would explode so we could get, like, skulls and mushrooms out of it. I guess most of the time I'm probably happy it doesn't, to be honest with you, but a Samson start with a decent first room item room, or, you know, first floor item room is, a uh, something to be happy about. Something encouraging. Something new, something old, something borrow, something blue. Excuse me. Excuse me, get out, please. Ah, uh, there you go, okay. I'm gonna try to push you over here. Decent chance that we get the secret room. I think that would have gotten it, honestly, so I'm not sweating that one too hard. Uh, we've been playing sloppily lately, but our last run was quite good in the end. I think we maybe uh, made some mistakes. That was very nice. Uh, not my fault, obviously, or not my doing, but uh, very nice nonetheless. Um, we maybe made some mistakes and uh, took a little bit more damage than we should have, but all things considered, I'm just going to be content uh, about a win. I'm feeling good for uh, what, what that means for our morale in the future as I try to push my way out of uh, what is a little bit of a slump here. I, I seriously can only be real with you that this motherfucker only messages me on Skype. This time it's Rob sending me a link to a Matthew McConaughey video on YouTube. Cool, dog. Couldn't have sent that uh, any time within the past 23 and a half hours when I was not recording Rebirth. It's uh, urgent that it shows it's freaking 3 p.m. on a Friday. You know, TGIF and all that, but at the same time, you know, it's tax season, dog. You got, you, there's something you gotta be doing except sending Matthew McConaughey links on YouTube. I'm sure of it. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe you, maybe you filed early. Or sometimes not at all. That was an Austin Powers joke that sounded like I'm implying him in tax fraud, which is not the case. I have, I'm not his accountant, I have no idea what he's doing. I wonder if you can write off the bandwidth, though, for all those Matthew McConaughey videos he's linking me to. I wonder if I can write off the bandwidth for all those M Matthew McConaughey videos he's linking me to. So we do have, uh, the boss fight right here. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get five cents, but it is not looking very likely. I mean, the obvious thing is five cents is going to allow us to get an arcade, and an arcade will allow us to have a chance to get a blood bag, and a blood bag is an incredibly good item as Samson. What we could do, if we get at least like three cents, that would be, man, that sucks. Um, I was thinking I would just go into the shop and, come on, yeah, that worked. Uh, I would go into the shop and then blow up the donation machine and probably have a chance to get the five cents. A lot of people uh, disagree with the importance that I sometimes place on, you know, arcade meta. And I don't really think, nice, threaded the needle there. I don't really think it's a huge deal most of the time, but as Samson, without any other spacebar item, I think it's the most convenient possible opportunity for us to get it. And it would help out a lot. It sucks that we don't have a spirit art to back us up, but you know, shit happens. We can always go back there and get more money if we need to. And if we could just get like 10 cents, that would be even better. But it looks like we're gonna be around seven and we found the secret room, amazingly six, sorry. And that's gonna be enough, oh my God. All right, so let's pick up the Spirit Heart. We've still got seven cents remaining now. I can't afford to get the key, unfortunately. We'll just hope for one on the next floor, unless we get a little bit of extra money here. Okay, it turns out I did not need to buy the Spirit Heart, but I can't be that sad about getting two Spirit Hearts instead of just one. That's okay. We'll be heading down to the next floor on what was a relatively long first floor, but it set us up fairly nicely if we can get an arcade on this floor. So far, you know, not so good, but that's okay. We have Curse of the Unknown, but it's... I think best to get Curse of the Unknown on a floor where either you just have so much HP that it doesn't matter, or you can easily remember it, and I can easily remember this. We've got, uh... Three Red Hearts. And two Spirit Hearts, as of right now. Not a problem. Little skeptical that we're gonna find an arcade. Oh, X-Ray uh, X ray Vision here is pretty good. Maybe we can just walk into the shop instead of having to have a key, but there's a key for us anyway. Maybe blow up those mushrooms. Um, no, no special room here, but that's okay. 
Still really banking on the idea of this arcade, because I would love to get... If not the... Okay, we'll check that out later. Uh, if not... Uh, you gotta give me a moment here. I was in the middle of a conversation, and then this shit happened. I guess I'm just gonna take everything, and I know that this does make it not conceivable for us to get the... Uh, blood bag anymore, even if there is an arcade, but how am I supposed to turn down being in the Whore of Babylon state? We still have two spirit arts backing us up. Let's try not to botch that, because that could start to go sour pretty quickly. We got Gimpy, Contract from Below. I love Contract from Below. And it doesn't look like we have an arcade anyway. And we got the Whore of Babylon with Whore of Babylon state, which is really, really recommended. Let's put it that way. I'm going to open the golden chest as well. Uh, I'll take it. We've already got BBF to watch out for. It seems like it wouldn't be as bad to have two things to watch out for, or proportionally as bad is more what I mean to say. We also have... Stay away though, please. We also have that uh, two-key room. We will be able to access it. Pill is pheromones. We can take a pheromones pill into the boss fight at least. We can also go to our boss trap room now. Um, don't know if any of that is literally worth it at all. Paralysis. Well, at least we know. That paralysis is over there. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely open this. I mean, I think that our consumable game is going to be pretty strong. It looks like we can probably go to our shop now and uh, blow up our donation machine and pick up whatever item is uh, available there. We got some Larry Juniors to fight here. This is a really, really good start. We are missing out on the ability to really benefit from Bloody Lust in a productive fashion that is non-destructive. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll take Broken Onk. And you know what? I'm going to go a little crazy here and we'll... Come in here, get a small damage bonus, uh, and put ourselves at a much greater risk for, like, literal death, but that's okay. As long as you don't walk on the spikes, you shouldn't find yourself in too uh, rough of a position here. Really expected that there would be a spirit heart there. Um, we'll buy the compass. And I guess we'll start popping pills here to see if there's a... Uh, tears up, HP up... Balls of steel. I found pills. Man. That is... That is one hell of a terrible second secret room. I am... I'm shocked. Alright, very important. Don't hurt yourself. Because our HP is bad. <laughs> like, one spirit heart bad. Monstro... Or not Monstro's lung. Uh, broken Onk. Close, right? That could bring us back, but I don't want to have to rely on it. I'd rather take the HP, even though it's going to ruin Horror of Babylon, at least temporarily. It does give us a better chance of survival. And without any guarantee of getting a Spirit Heart soon, I think it was the kind of thing that was sort of a, a bit of a marriage of necessity. We're lucky in a way that we can rely on, you know, BBF and Bob's brain to help us deal some damage, because we're not really doing much ourselves here yet, but the hope, of course, is that we can, you know, oh, so stupid. The hope is we can trade our HP to the deal with the devil. Now we're on the chopping block again. Oh, Pyro helps out a ton when we have more HP. As of right now, it's not really that great, but uh, it, it makes us immune to explosive damage. That's pretty solid. Lemon Party. Uh, I have to keep Broken Onk for now, just in case it ends up making all the difference, you know? Figured we'd get some kind of chain reaction here. This is a room we actually have to be quite careful on for that exact reason. And I'll be honest with you, I think we got a little lucky there. That was also awesome. I like that a lot. That's a great deal of money. Let's try to get to our shop just so we can, you know, pick up that... Oh, well, these guys are slow at least. Pick up that uh, spirit heart right away. And we can always blow up our donation machine more if we need it. But uh, if we can get a spirit heart, that would mean an awful lot to me right now. We're watching out for Bob's brain. It's back. Big miss there. Oh my god, I almost murdered myself. Fucking knockback on the tears, man. There we go. Okay, one's dead. Other one soon to follow. Great stuff. We shouldn't have to fight greed here. It's really just one spirit heart, man. That would <laughs> make you feel a lot more comfortable, but we don't get one. But it's the cave's one, so Pandora's box is a good pickup. I think. Bob's brain won't hurt me anymore. I guess I shouldn't be that scared of Bob's brain. So we'll use Pandora's box. It gave us experimental treatment. Don't kill me, please. It didn't kill me. 
I don't know what it did. It seems like our... I don't think necessarily our... Uh, rate of fire improved, but I think our tiers feel larger, which to me screams of like a damage bonus. I really did not expect to find myself in such a tricky position right off the bat here. A little too aggressive on those early floor deals with the devil, and we're gonna be fighting Chubb. You know, we've got great damage dealing potential with our bombs, which is awesome, but uh, I gotta stay the hell away from him. Like, uh, the actual Bob's brain attack won't hurt us anymore, as I remembered moments ago. There we go. That went pretty well. Uh, deal with the devil. Nine lives would be incredible here. No deal with the devil and no HP. It's going to be one of those, huh? That is not the Hierophant. Well, we have to decide what the heck we're going to do. I, I do think it's in our best interest to explore. But there's definitely uh, there's a trick to it. Not this room. Not this room. Thank God. Thank God we opened up some space there. Alright, so I'm relying on second secret room to be better than it has been here. Ace of spades. Man, we gotta stay with broken onk. I hate it, but it's there's no way around it. Okay, mini mush is something. And a lockdown pill. Jesus Christ. Don't walk on the... Flippin' spikes. I'm assuming these guys don't do one full heart. So it shouldn't be that dangerous. But, you know, one spirit heart, man. That's all we need to go over the top into the, like, safety zone. All I ask is, like, for the briefest amount of survivability. We could have also used Hanged Man to get into the curse room. But, look. <laughs> That seems a little dangerous, is all I'm trying to say. One of those runs where I really don't feel like we're playing badly. But because of the decisions I made, we find ourselves in a tricky spot. But I will say this is maybe the first time ever that I'm excited by the possibility that Broken Ankh is with me right now. I don't think I've ever been rezzed by Broken Ankh. If I have, it's been extremely rare. It is only a 50% chance, I think, maybe even 25. But it could make a huge difference here. Uh, these guys should be basically unable to hit me. If there's a golden chest or a red chest, you can make a pretty good case for uh, this mob trap room, I guess. Come on, balls of steel. Lemon party. Uh, lemon party's pretty good. Two golden chests, I'll try it, and we got Guppy's head. And another card. I guess I should check out the card. Just this, okay, it's the stars. We could teleport away. I kind of want to see if we get another consumable from here, though. These guys do one full heart, so be very, very careful. In fact, a lemon party pill. Yeah, there's, there's probably no better chance to use that than right now. Man, this is a tricky one. I can't believe we ran into two shops in a row that did not pay out with spirit hearts. Like, that's, that's what shops pay out with. His spirit hearts. Okay, fuck off for a second. We're gonna use Guppy's head so we get another bunch of flies immediately. Got two cents back and a decent number of flies. A stars card. And at this point, I guess we go to the curse room to try to get just like a completely lucky nine lives or anything. Ceremonial robes, the mark, the pact, any Guppy item. And then we just teleport out. And it's not spiders. Which is nice. And it's a spirit art, so we can actually teleport out and have uh, Horror of Babylon, which is probably more meaningful than another half red heart right now. That could change in the future, but for right now, I feel like this is pretty good. And we have a chance to spawn an arcade on the next floor. Not that we could really play it that much, but if there's a judgment, a demon judgment, those could be meaningful. Let's go check this out. Red chests are uh, extremely nice right now, all the rage. And this is one of those runs. We've had a lot of really good items, but just kind of the wrong attributes to to feel comfortable. You know, very little HP is like it's the cute way of saying that, I guess. But we're we're doing an awful lot of damage right now. A double dime drop is just crazy. You can check out youtubecom slash double dime drop to get uh, you know reviews of the newest Jack in the Box sandwich. I'm not hating on dime drops, man. I watch those videos all the time for food I've never eaten. 
There's something about watching a man eat and enjoy food that is like really relaxing. It's just like a feeling that all's right in the world. Okay, well, we might as well use one bomb here. This floor is actually going really well so far. This is a floor where we'd expect to have a pretty good shot at a deal with the devil, so keep that in mind. Uh, I would... I'd have to be a little conservative about my approach to that said deal with the devil. Mom's contact is a great pickup. And we've got more than enough money to make our shop worthwhile. It would be really nice to not fight greed. It would be really nice to not fight gurglings as well. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, freeze and then Bob's brain. It's perfect. It's a great combination. Oh, I ruined Horror Babylon. I must have picked up a red heart. I was looking to see what item did it to us. It must have just been me. It is greed. With no tinted rocks. Another thing that's been quite a sore spot on this run. Barely got out of the way there. My brain almost broke, but there we go. We got in the way of that one. Um, at least we got a small damage bonus temporarily. And we're pretty much ready to go fight the boss, but I'm scared. And I think like that's completely justifiable. This has not been a good setup for us thus far. Oh my god, Umbilical Cord. No Eternal Hearts either. At least we're fighting the Hollow. This is going to be like super simple. It's already over, essentially. And we do get a deal with the devil. No HP upgrades. Maybe Krampus. Yeah. Straight up, this is a good time to be fighting Krampus. The synth oil pickup is nice. You know, I'm trying to divorce the fact that I need HP from the fact that synth oil is also really good. Even though it doesn't give us HP, I'm happy to have it. And the lump of coal pickup is nice as well. Got to keep kind of a realistic viewpoint of what's going on on this run. Uh, we're literally technically fine. And I really am... Quite happy with our damage dealing potential. We know that there's no um, arcade on this floor because we already have the compass and the compass is not showing us anything. So it's up to us if we want to explore more rooms and I'm very hesitant to do so. But, you know, I'll see if there's like teleportation cards that we can use to get in this curse room and get out. You know, better chance of becoming guppy. Uh, we can go into our mob trap room and there is, or sorry, it's a boss trap room, but there is... A golden chest in there, and, you know, that's not a necessarily a bad trade. As long as we don't get hit in the process, it doesn't matter. And again, it doesn't matter if we get hit by uh, BBF either. Or Bob's Brain. With Pyromaniac, like, that might conceivably be what ends up winning us uh, the game here. This is Mega Ma now, usually, yep. Freeze is important. Didn't quite show up at the proper timing, but... Uh, we can get another... Oh, it's a stationary enemy. I'm like, well, we got to get the freeze so that we can hit the enemy reliably with Bob's brain. Yeah, or it can just fucking stand still as it always does anyway. And here we've got a key beggar, which I will blow up in the hopes of picking up a spirit heart. No, nope. Money and a bomb. Not a good use of our keys. It's really a testament to the power of this run, though, that we're able to... First off, we have no... Um real bonus from Horror ba well, you have no bonus from Horror Babylon right now. And we have no bonus except for one hit from Bloody Lust. And yet still, we're doing so much damage that we can survive on one and a half hearts and I'm feeling- oh, that is so good. And I'm feeling comfortable, so comfortable in fact, that I'm actually gonna sacrifice another Spirit Heart so I can go to our curse room here, maybe get more Spirit Hearts or another item or mi yeah, there we go. You gotta spend HP to make HP. If we got just, if this run is a loss, if instead of picking up, you know, decent boss room upgrades, we pick up range upgrades over and over. Same for, uh, same for item rooms. Straight up, we're, uh, it, as unlucky as we are to be in a bad spot on HP, it's partly my own fault for really aggressively pursuing those deals with the devil early, but also, we're in a lucky position to begin with. That we have so much damage that our HP is not a deal breaker right now. Now, we're not going to be breaking, again, any records for, for speed or anything like that, but it's a good run. I'm holding on to Paralysis just in case PhD shows up later. Because I got a PHB for PhD, if you know what I mean. That's a pretty huge uh, brontosaurus. Um, yeah, I was going to say, they're all dead. They're just waiting to die. Figured we'd check out these cards. Two of spades. I'll just pop that right now. It's not... 
it, it's a suboptimal play, but it gets it off of like my mental menu, if you know what I mean. So I know, uh, I know what I've got going on, and I don't need to sweat it too much. Is there a curse room? There's no curse room on this floor. So I think uh, I'm just going to teleport to our item room. Stigmata is a fantastic pickup for us here. Not a huge damage increase, but a damage increase, and it comes along with HP as well. I think it might have exactly the same stats as meat. Isn't it 0.3 damage and uh, and 1 HP? They're both fine. Uh, I'm just going to actually check out our shop first. Not that I think that we're going to be in a dangerous position on the boss fight, but rather, why not just try not to be in nearly as dangerous of a position if we can help it. Counterfeit Penny, not really that necessary. I'm, I've am i got a, a soft spot now for Broken Ankh on this run. It gave us a lot of, uh, of peace of mind. Well, a little bit of peace of mind. The most peace of mind we've had. There's our second Guppy item, and we are dangerously close to balling out of control here. Which is awesome. I'm not going to resort to picking up the stopwatch, but I will buy the extra spirit heart. And all of a sudden, uh, we're gaining a lot of momentum. And momentum is a very hard thing to work against in Isaac. And this would be a great run for my confidence. Like, this is a run where if I'd played terribly, we would be dead. However, we're playing pretty well. You need to freeze, by the way. Uh, we're playing pretty well. I would even go so far as to say very well. And that's giving us, you know, the, the tools we need for success here. Thank you, Bob's Brain. Get a range upgrade we can't do much about. No Krampus tax on this floor. The shovel, though. The shovel tax. Very rarely do you end up paying the shovel tax, but we will. And just watch out for those guys. Sweet. 1850. Boss rush is pretty much off the table. But that's not necessarily a terrible thing. And this could be joyous for us right here. Two spirit arts for three bombs. Already a good trade. Let's see if we get any more. Three spirit arts for three bombs. A fantastic trade. And now I'm feeling, I would almost say a little bit cocky, honestly. Which is not necessarily, there's a tinted rock back there, not necessarily a good thing. But I'm feeling good for the first time in this run. And we got bombs. We can blow up some skulls. There's another spirit art from that tinted rock. And a host. Now we definitely don't need to deal with. There is a secret room right here as well. And that's another paralysis pill. As well as a uh, mob trap room. Mob trap rooms can have red chests. Ergo, the guppy dream exists there. Broken Ankh. I gotta give you a, a big round of applause, Broken Ankh. Everyone at home, say thank you to Broken Ankh for giving us the ability to be here right now. I appreciate it a great deal, but we gotta go with the Cancer Trinket. It's too good to pass up. But Broken Ankh is really the foundation here, man. Built the franchise from the ground up. Saved us when we could have moved to... Atlanta. No offense to men to Atlanta there. I'm sure they have a lot of great Isaac fans. Pulse Worm. I, you know, an interesting trinket. Uh, but not one. Actually, one of my personal favorite trinkets aesthetically, but just not worth anything for us right now. And again, taking very, very little damage. Uh, not having any bonus from Bloody Lust, or much bonus from Bloody Lust, or any bonus from uh, Horror Babylon. I'm feeling really really sharp right now and it's except for that and it's been a while since I could say that it's been a while since I could say you know I'm feeling good about my Isaac play but it's the it's the damn truth right now this is solid the fundamentals are coming through I thought maybe black heart spirit heart in there no such luck but uh, it's okay let's head to the left again with boss rush already over why not now we're gonna really really want to have an arcade on the next floor we've <laughs> earned it as far as my perspective goes this will be like the third or fourth floor that will have had uh well it'll be the third qualifying floor because it's the third set of floors that we should have qualified for a, a deal with the devil sorry an arcade and have not had it yet and i would get rid of uh, uh i don't know it's hard to say this late in the game if i get rid of guppy's head for it but even just being able to get the damage bonus on one floor would be nice. And it could put me in the Horror Babylon state. Ah, yeah, a V-Bag is really nice for that. Being able to put and keep me in the Horror Babylon state. So we've already been to our shop. That's where we bought our Spirit Heart. Life's looking great right now. 
keeps getting better floor to floor. That's the kind of momentum you need. And there is an arcade. Okay. At the very least, be able to get in Horror of Babylon State. And uh, hopefully stay there. We don't have Placenta. Money will... I mean, it's already not an issue, but it will continue... No, that was, Okay. Don't get sloppy. It will continue not to be an issue. And... Uh, possibly we'll take IV Bag. For now, I think we can kind of just get away with it like this. If we get IV Bag, we'll, we'll make an executive decision. Don't pay out on this one. Don't pay out on this one. Okay, good stuff. If we get IV Bag, we can make some kind of executive decision. But uh, for now, that's not necessary. And our shots are looking quite potent. This is going to be the first chance since, like, Floor 2 where we're really going to have a chance to see how much damage we can do with uh, the maximum damage bonus from Bloody Lust in conjunction with Horror of Babylon. So I'm expecting to be much more potent right now. Goathead is good, man. It's going to be very difficult for me to stay in the uh, Horror of Babylon state because any explosion that I'm next to will heal me. So it's not just like not picking up red hearts. It's like seriously... Look, I just blew up myself, giving me HP. It also pushed a half red heart into me. That's the kind of stuff I'm getting at. Like, it's not going to be easy to stay in this state. Uh, but I would like to, so getting Goathead makes that a little bit easier. If we can get like Guppy's Paw or something like that. We can always just choose to, you know, lose our spirit hearts, or sorry, lose our red hearts, not our spirit hearts, and then just never pick up uh, more red hearts in the future. Then it can only happen probably accidentally. Two of hearts, not necessary. I'd rather carry Paralysis just in case I make a mistake. There is that secret room. I will go to it. Never. Don't you worry your pretty little head. We're going to get you home to Tyson in your little tiger bed. You don't need to sweat that. I'm aware of my surroundings. Dark bum. The game has been kind. Now it's being generous. And we're going to be at 99 cents roughly. I don't want to really use a bomb to get one penny to get to 99 cents. I have a feeling it'll work out for us. Now we can get rid of these red hearts very easily via dark bum. And it's... <laughs> I hate saying this now because it backfired so much. But it is difficult to see a loss on this one right now. There's options is fine. Sharp plug, why not? Uh, buy a key, because why not? Maybe pay, pick up some extra flies. And then donate as much money as is conceivable right now. We don't have anything that gives us like a better performance based on our finances. So we don't need to worry about that right now. Okay, it's looking quite good. Try cracking these open. Maybe a, a card that's better than the paralysis pill would be nice. Sticking with the cancer trinket, of course, in this situation. Alright, this is all about the deal with the devil now. We're going to lose damage on the next floor, like, almost no matter what. Because we're not going to have the bloody lust bonus we have right now. But, it depends on what we get on the deal with the devil. Yara rune is exactly the coup that I would be hoping for here. And that is some really good damage right off the bat. A little disappointed we didn't get the mom's contact freeze, but man, it's already over here. That's crazy. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll take ourselves down to zero spirit hearts. Or sorry, zero red hearts again. Don't make that mistake. So that we can get the Horror of Babylon state. And it helps that those are pretty good items for our situation as well. Yara is what we want to take with us. But uh, Lord of the Pit is... The ability to fly, plus I think a small speed upgrade, and then um, ceremonial robes, HP plus damage, basically. And the, the kind of HP we actually want. Very, very happy about this. And looking like this is set in stone, basically, as close as it can get. Um, it does suck that there's no way we can really use Bloody Lust effectively. But either way... I think we've we've pretty much got this one unlocked, and really, th there's not that much uh, that I can say to my own credit here, except that we survived, and it would have been pretty easy to not survive on this run. Thank you, Gimpy. First time you've really had to worry about paying out. Um, yeah, I mean, this would have been a pretty easy run to not survive on, so I can uh, I can take a little bit of, of pride in our performance here. I think. Also, I could have not taken BBF if I were scared. And I could have not taken Bob's Brain, but both of those have now paid extreme dividends now that we've gotten uh, Pyromaniac. Now, that's not going to happen every run. 
But I'm pleased with uh, the fact that it happened on this run. More money. We, there's no reason not to take Bomb Bag that I can think of, really. It is nice to have more bombs. If we accidentally pick up HP, more than one at least, it'll make us nigh unkillable. Because of the uh, healing bonus from Pyro. Thank you, Dark Bum. And no more Eternal Hearts, please. All right, well, that's a good time for Dark Bum, but we're already so close to the HP cap that I kind of feel like we should not worry about it unless we get hit on this room. We could get one Spirit Heart. Allow me a little bit of laziness on this run. Probably gonna go speed plus range, but let's see. Okay, Guppy's Paw is gonna turn us into Guppy. What's more important, speed plus range or HP? I think probably at this point we're already fast enough, so we'll take this for the extra Spirit Hearts. So that was basically like an even trade. We just got Guppy's Paw from the boss. Uh, and we don't need anything else back here. And now we're Guppy. So, you know, no hive mind, but we're if we weren't generating enough flies before, we definitely will be now. Yeah, why not, right? This will be a good test of our uh, fly generation. I think our damage is great enough that our flies are going to one-shot most enemies. Not bosses, but, I mean, they're doing a real bang-up job here. Like, Chubb might die, yeah, before it even exists. That's a tough break in life. Uh, let's just go up. I know there's a secret room. I know there's a boss fight. Or, I, I'm looking for the boss fight, but uh, I know there's a mini-boss down there. I'm not sweating it too much. I think we're we're in our rights, or within our rights to go pretty much directly to the boss fight here. Just see what we got in here, and uh, that will end up giving us one black heart in total. Still got the Yara rune for the chest. It's unfortunate that this is not the right way, but it's all good. And again, uh, those rooms have been showing up a lot. Unfortunately, we don't get too much advantage out of them right away. What are we looking for now? It's definitely blank card. It's it's so unlikely, but if it could show up, this is kind of the perfect run to have it on. It's a run where we've already got it pretty much on lock. So all we'd be looking for is ridiculous synergies, and I am open to that. No small rock yet either, which I would be very happy to receive. Okay, lucky us there. Could have easily taken damage, but instead we're going to beat Mom's heart in like a second and a half. I really thought a fly would have aggroed that. That's not the fly's fault, that's my fault for not paying closer attention. At the same time, come on. Come on, work with me a little bit there. Ah, well, we'll, you know, take that, you put that in your pipe and smoke it up and then drop it on the ground on the next floor and I'll go pick that spirit heart up. For now. I'm not really that interested in going to fight mob trap rooms. Seems like kind of a waste of all of our collective time here. Stay as far away as we can get. And that could be a good pill. We've never had it before. That would be the one that would give us HP up, of course. I think this is the wrong way, actually. I, I'm, yeah, I'm about 50-50 on whether it's the right way or the wrong way, but my hunch is that it's the wrong way because this one actually looks a little too convenient. I bet you have to go up and around to the right. Mm, but now that we've had this little dip in here, I, I can't be totally confident. Uh, other great pickups, I would get rid of Guppy's head for Tammy's head for sure. Chocolate milk, uh, stuff that is like cool synergistically, not just super overpowered. Like chocolate milk would be cool. There's the HP cap for us. Yeah, this was definitely the right way. All right, my mistake. It's gonna happen from time to time. Knock back a little ridiculous. After saying chocolate milk, apparently my brain thought that I had chocolate milk and I was doing charge shots, which is not how uh, to get ahead in life. That's all right, though. Get the freeze. Get the freeze, then the Bob's brain. There we go. Get hit, and then use Bob's brain. Almost through the second phase already, having fought like two angels. Not enough flies to get the KO here, I think, right off the bat, but we're not going to be far off. Uh, maybe with the freeze and a BBF and a Bob's brain, it was just enough to get it done. That wasn't just commentary. I was crunching some arithmetic in my head. And it, the guy got lucky, let's be honest. All right, Curse of the Lost, not a problem. Double this stuff up. Pad. Infestation. Mind. Body. Mascara. These are pretty bad. I'll take Mascara. I don't... I guess I'll take Infestation. 
We'll save the rest just in case there's like a Perthro rune that shows up. I mean, the, the body makes us demonstrably worse. The mind has no effect whatsoever here. Mom's pad would replace a better item. I forget the other one. In any case, it's just, oh, no, we picked up the miter. Yeah, the miter is well worth it. If for no other reason than, you know, we we don't have an automatic reroll, so there's no real point to not taking it straight away. Even if it's not an extraordinary improvement. I think we're pretty much on autopilot here until the end. This has been a great run. I was, uh, yeah, at first I was afraid. I was petrified. Thinking that my streak of double digits has forever died. And I spent so many runs thinking how I fucked it up. And I... Nothing rhymes with up. Except for things prefixed with. There's a suffixed with up. But now I'm back. I'm not going to continue onwards with that. But you get the idea. Um, This is probably like a pretty convenient like a hub world for us to transfer through here. I don't really mind taking that contact damage. That could give us one extra hit, so it's actually, like, objectively the right decision to take it. But let's be honest, this is already over. Oh, double chest. Attack fly, cursed eye. Not this time. This is new and improved, Ryan. So I'm getting close because, uh, because of attack fly. It will fuck with our, uh, with our lump of coal a little bit. But this is already over. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun on that run. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.